Seems legit. My legitimates, and welcome back to my channel. Today, I am making a fabulous Star Wars clock. Um, so, the kit that I bought originally that has these parts in it actually came with a round, uh, but you'll see that no matter how perfectly I thought I lined it up, I didn't. So, I decided to actually just cut these straight out of a piece of plyboard. So, you do all the engraving and then just cut it out. Um, I had no dramas doing it that way, uh, so let's get started. So this was my first attempt, um, and I was just going to do it on a perfect circle. Now, I thought I lined this up brilliantly, uh, but you can see it's starting to lean over to one side. It gets a little bit further, and then I give up. So, and then we're just going to cut it straight out of plyboard ourselves. Uh, so this is set to 100% power at 100 millimeters per second, so I wanted it a bit darker than normal. Um, and this fully took, I think, about just over two hours to do. I've obviously sped it up, so it's super fast for you all. Um, and I've taken off the little orange case around the laser because now I've got the Comgro box. Um, it's a very dark plastic, so I don't need to worry about my eyes. Anytime I was near this, though, I was wearing my glasses because I do not want to burn out my eyeballs, obviously. Um, but... When I'm not recording, I literally zip it up and it's not a problem and you don't hurt your eyes. Uh, my child has already told me he wants this one because he loves Iron Man at the moment. But yeah, so this took, yeah, about two hours. And it just goes back and forth, back and forth. And then it's going to cut out around as well. So I set the cutting to three millimeters a second at 100% power. And I did two passes to make sure that it would cut all the way through. And then it's done. All right, so this one has just come out of the laser and you can see it's covered in a bit of dust. Um, now, because I am making bigger items, I'm not gonna use the Dremel with that mini tool because it would take me forever. So I went to Bunnings and I got a soft bristled attachment. It is a Ryobi brand, so you can get soft, medium and hard bristles. I got the soft ones because I didn't want to damage anything and then I'm just gonna clean it with it. So I'm gonna make noise now so it comes off quite easy without um damaging any of the design you could also maybe get away with the medium um weighted bristles as well but i'm quite happy with the light So that's already darker and better. So I'm just going to run over this a little bit more off camera where I can hold it better. Um, and then we are up to clear glossing them. All right, so I have done a few. We are now going to um, do it with a spray gloss. This is just what I have. It's for drawing and artworks and stuff, and it felt like a good idea. Uh, it's just a finishing sealer to make it look nice. Um, so just back and forth, kind of gives it like a nice darker look. Can I have a turn? You can have a turn in a minute, sweetie. You okay. can do it on your one, okay? Okay. It's school holidays here, so Jessie is my little helper, aren't you, mate? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that looks so much good. Or better. Not so much good, that's terrible English. Can I have a turn on the Not these ones. You get to have a turn on your own one. Alright, so I am going to let that dry. And that already does look darker and makes everything more pronounced. Um, and then we will get on to putting the clock part in. Good job, right, buddy. So these are now dry. Uh, they're good to go. They've just It just gives like a slight sheen. I didn't want them too glossy. So now I'm going to take this. And you've got to make sure that this is on and down and flat. And then we're just going to pop it through the hole. Now it should fit because I measured the original hole. Then we're going to put that on. And I'm just going to use the tool that I stole from my husband. He doesn't actually know that, but he also doesn't watch my videos, so it doesn't matter. Ah, and then 
then you just want this. Why? Now it's stuck in there. There we go. Don't know why that happened. This is the same tool I used to get it off. So you can kind of finger pop it on like that. And now, now that it's on, you want to line up this back bit so it points to the top of the clock. And then we're going to tighten it so it doesn't move. So if I hold it like that, the top is here. So you can even just turn it over and make sure that that is aligned at the top like so. And then again, make sure it's tight. And so then we're just going to take the hands and we just push them. So they push down until they click so that they don't move. And then we're going to push the next one on like that. And then the second hand kind of goes in the middle. Now they don't all touch, they're all on their separate thing and that's how the clock mechanism works. You just want to make sure that none of them are loose, except maybe that one. Um, but they all work. And now that is your clock set up. You just need to put a battery in. Um, to change the time, please do it this way with this part where they twist. And don't use your fingers because you might knock them off their layers. Um, but yeah, the clock is done and I think it looks amazing. So thank you all for tuning in and I'll see you guys all again next time. Bye.